Today we're going to talk about frequently asked questions, Miami Carnival facts. Now if you don't know me, my name is Krista, aka Bahamanista, and I am a culture travel and lifestyle blogger, content creator. What is Miami Carnival? Well, Miami Carnival is a carnival tradition and celebration. A little history on Miami Carnival. It started back in 1984, according to MiamiCarnival.org. After a huge migration of Caribbean communities into the South Florida area in the 70s and 80s, there was already a huge Bahamian presence and community because Bahamians actually helped or were widely responsible for developing a lot of Miami-Dade, more particularly the Coconut Grove area. Caribbean Carnival itself dates back all the way to Trinidad in the 18th century where French settlers came in and brought their pre-Lenten celebrations which coincided with Cambalay which was a harvest festival which then evolved into more of a celebration of freedom after emancipation. That is where the freed black slaves celebrated with their own traditions, drums, music. A lot of what they were trying to do was basically trying to be erased by the European settlers and government at that time. So that then resulted and culminated into the Cambalay riots in 1881, after which Cambalay became an actual institutionalized celebration for freed people in Trinidad. So here is where you get a lot of the heavy influence or here is basically where Caribbean Carnival began. The reason why I bring this up is because it is very important to understand that this is not a party on the street. It is not a street festival. It is events that culminate together to celebrate Caribbean culture. All right, when is Miami Carnival? It's every Columbus Day weekend. Miami Carnival every year. The parade is on the Sunday for 2022 it is Sunday, October 9th. Cultural events, parties, fets. All of the above occur throughout the week, even starting from like the week before. There is Junior Carnival, there is Panorama, there is also Juve. The final combination for Miami Carnival is Miami Carnival Parade and then Concert. Um, where is Miami Carnival? So like I was saying, Miami Carnival has several cultural events. Juve and the official parade, which is the Saturday and Sunday, Columbus Day weekend are going to be at the fairgrounds and Junior Carnival and Panorama are actually going to be in Lauder Hill at um, the Central Broward Regional Park. So other events that actually happen during Miami Carnival are FETs. There are different types of Caribbean FETs. There are all-inclusive boat ride, alternative juve parties, all-inclusive parties, drinks-inclusive parties, breakfast parties, cool effects. But the main intertwining theme of all these fets and parties is the fact that soca music will be played. When it comes to carnival time, you will hear soca, calypso, zouk, bouillon, denary segment from St. Lucia, Grenada has their soca, there's bashman soca from Barbado. One resource that I definitely have for y'all is to check out Julian's promos. They promo soca music throughout the year, every year, new music, they have old music. Um, if you want to check out mixes and stuff like that, some of my favorite DJs to listen to are Overdose, who's Bahamian DJ, and Freeze International, DJ Private Ryan, DJ Gel, Gel in the Mix. I will put a, some mixes in the description box um, below. If you want to participate in Miami Carnival as a masquerader, if you want to participate in a juve band, if there is a way to do that. There are multiple carnival mass bands that launch their costume collection every year there's a theme a different theme per band and that comes at a, at a price a carnival band is literally an organization or a business that puts out an all-inclusive cultural experience for masqueraders that is including food drinks music so your costumes will most likely start from, you can find some as cheap as $300. My band of choice is Rebel Nation, but if you are looking to play with Rebel Nation, you can tell them I sent y'all, I am a Rebel Nation ambassador. So if you're looking for a band with really good costumes, great customer service, and you're gonna get what you paid for, then you go with Rebel Nation Carnival. There are other bands like Mascots, Kepaya, Savage Mass, Freaks, 
all different types of bands and I actually have a Miami Carnival guide in my blog. I'll link it in the description box below so you guys can check out the different bands. There are also multiple Juve bands. So costumes can range from like $300 to $1,000 or even a little bit more. Depends on what you want. Your Juve package sometimes come with the costume package depending on the band but sometimes you'll end up coming out, um, out of pocket starting at like $75 for an all-inclusive package and what that could include is food, drinks, paint, powder, it really just depends on the band and what they choose to offer with that price point. Now, if you just want to spectate, the Miami Carnival organization actually sells tickets for Junior Carnival, Panorama, they also sell spectator tickets as well, so you guys can check that out. All of that information is on their website. I will link it below in the description box. A lot of people ask, what should I wear to Carnival? What should I wear to this pet? What should I wear to Juve? If you book a costume or register for a costume in a band, that is what you would wear on the parade if you are a registered masquerader. If you are just paying for a spectator ticket, just dress comfortable. Dress like you go into like a day party, but don't put on heels. Wear sneakers, wear flat shoes, a flag if you want. You can bring a Bahamian flag, a Trinidadian flag, Barbados, just as long as that is your lineage. For fets and parties, it really just depends on like what kind of fet it is. So like, for instance, like a dressier party would be an all-inclusive and maybe you can get, you know, you could definitely get away with a romper or a two-piece skirt set or a dress and maybe some low comfortable heels or an all white party obviously is more on the dressier side you wear all white you know wear a nice outfit cooler fat is a little bit more laid back because you bring in your own drinks in a cooler a nice little comfortable outfit that you could dance in for sure make sure your clothing is dance proof because you're gonna be jumping you're gonna be dancing you're gonna be walking you're gonna be running <laughs> you know there's just a lot of movement going on around carnival time especially a guy actually asked me on tiktok is it okay to just whine on people you know so if you saw a person walking down the street would it be okay to just go up to them and touch them no <laughs> so the same thing goes for carnival just because people are in these beautiful costumes and you know some of them are a little you know kind of on the you know itty bitty risque side that does not give anybody license to touch anyone it does not give you a license to go and wind up on anyone i know caribbean culture you know there are some people out there that think oh i go, I go walk up on everything and this that and the third but some people don't want to be touched and you got to respect that and it's, it's just what it is you know sometimes you're in an environment where you know you see people everybody's dancing with each other and then I feel like there is just mutual respect on that end because you kind of can feel out the situation if you will carnival is not a free-for-all oh I see a girl you know in a beautiful costume and I'm just gonna grab her consent is definitely something that you you should be considering especially if you approaching a stranger for a wine you know like I would ask maybe tap them see you know like be like hey you want to dance or something like that or you want to take a wine or maybe just tap and stop wine and see if they join with you like that is giving consent if they decide to come to you some people just come to free up and they don't want to dance on anybody they just want to be in their costume they want want to chip on the road and have that euphoric feeling that carnival brings so what events and parties should you go to it really just depends on you i think if, if i was a first timer here's what i would do and it's if you have the budget obviously i would go to a breakfast party I would go to a cooler fat I would go to a boat ride I would go to juve I would go to carnival I would play in a costume obviously to get the full experience and I would try to go to a cultural event like junior carnival panorama but if we talk in names I can tell you all a couple off my head that I think you know you would have a good time at for sure SSS blue for sure big fat fish that's held by hybrid events and scorch for sure, you know there's suits miami there's brain um soca brainwash miami there's meds there's uh there's bacchanal monday which is literally one of my favorite 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 events to go to it's a monday wear event it's sort of like a carnival wear event but like a little bit scaled down so also too if you can't afford miami carnival there's bacchanal monday and you can actually can wear your own costume and just pay for the ticket. I have all the events linked for Miami Carnival in a blog post that I'll put in the description box below. Other tips for Miami Carnival, I would say just go with an open mind, go to have fun and enjoy it, but most importantly, go to learn and go with a sense of respect for others, other people's cultures and traditions. Like be open and enjoy. Um, any other questions you guys put in the comments below. Let me know if you're already registered for Miami Carnival. If you guys have any other tips that I might have missed, definitely put them in the comments below. Because if you guys like this video, make, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content. And hopefully I will see you on the road. Bye.